The next step in building your wings is really going to be laying out the spars. Um, on earlier kits, the spars weren't pre-drilled. On later kits, you can tell the spars are now CNC drilled. And these are only 3 16 holes when you get it from the factory. Um, same on the weldment here and your other two pieces that go in this little lamination. Those are all 3 16 holes. Those need to be opened up according to the blueprints. Um, be careful doing that. Some of them are 5 16 and some are 3 8 If you drill out the 5 16 holes to 3 8 by accident, um, you've basically ruined your spar. So don't do that. Now, in this lamination here, we've got your spacer block. And this spacer block, you can see, overhangs the cap of the spar a little bit. That's to prevent this weldment from chafing on the spar. And then of course, this piece gets riveted to the back side of the spar here. So a note about this piece, when you're drilling these rivet holes, make sure that you have bolts in all these holes, okay? Um, you can also see that the spars are pre-drilled for wing ribs. On one side of the spar only, you'll have to drill the other side on assembly. Um, this is the front spar. This is where your landing wire goes. This is your um, front flying wire. This has a little bit of a bend in it. Make sure that the bend is on the bottom. And of course the, bl the blueprints um, tell you where to, where to put stuff, but this one should not be bent on the top going to the landing wire and of course you have your your tie down here um, on the rear spar this bigger lug here goes down towards the flying wire and then the skinnier lug goes up towards the landing wire now these are both for the right wing we didn't want to confuse anybody so this is the top this is the top notice here on the front spar he hasn't yet drill these out to the final size. When you're drilling this on the on the um, drill press, you want to make sure that none of these holes, um, that only one of these holes is opened up at a time. So you want to bolt in all these at 3 uh, 3 um, 316ths bolt, drill out a quarter inch for instance, and then you put a quarter inch bolt in here, move on to the next one, all the way until these are done with a quarter inch, and then go ahead and um, open them up to the 5 16 and 3 8 after that. At no point should um, a, a hole not have a bolt in it if it's not being opened up to the next larger size. Another thing you could start doing now is locating your drag truss bracketry on your wing spar. And of course everything on the blueprints is measured from the wing root bolt, which is this guy here. And of course you can see he started he started to match drill this here too. So everything is measured from this this hole here. You can go ahead and locate it. This is some three quarter inch thick MDF. And it centers it nicely within the spar web. Now these holes for now are only 330 seconds. Um, you can drill this to 330 seconds off the table, or I mean off the spar locate it and then drill it to 330 seconds on the spar you want to make sure that you have it cleat go together though before you open it to number 30 for your um, solid rivets so this don't do any final installation to that or this stuff here until your wing ribs are on so basically what's happening is he's drilling everything for this bracket this bracket and this bracket and then he's going to pull it all back apart, slide the ribs on, and then start getting the drag truss into place. So um, you can see here, this is where the wing tip starts to bend down. Okay, and this gets cut here and here. So once the wing tip is formed, you'll have bends here. And then these two points here will meet each other in the middle. So the wing spars, pretty simple. Um, go ahead and start laying those out. Once they're laid out, um, 
we can go ahead and get them on the table. Oh, one last thing too. We do, as part of the, the CNC process now, we cut this pattern in here for you. All you have to do is finish your cut there and there and then deburr it. So pretty straightforward stuff. Go ahead and start plotting this out. Um, again, take really good care of these spars. They are critical components if this thing breaks in flight. Um, highly unlikely unless you uh, do bad craftsmanship. But if it did have an issue in flight, that's not good. So um, do your best with them. Okay, so he's drilling his brackets to the spar. Of course, he's making sure that there's only one hole open at a time. So after he drills this hole, he's going to put a bolt in, move on to this one, put a bolt in, move on to this one, put a bolt in, and so forth. Right now, these are all at 3 16 He's going to open this up to a quarter, and then he's going to move forward with a quarter on all of them, and then he's going to move up to 5 16 on this one and this one, and then the other ones get um, 5 16 as well, but then also 3 8 after that. So don't over drill these don't open these up past the 5 16 make sure that they're labeled and, and he's getting re ready to label them right now if you open those up past 5 16 you've ruined your spar there's really nothing that we can do about that so um, the blueprints call this out it makes it very clear So in this lamination here, in this stack of, of parts, you can see we've got the um, forward landing and flying wire lug. You've got your tie-down ring. You've got your spacer in here. That's an aluminum spacer that holds it off of the spar. And then underneath, I can feel it down here, he's got, he's got the doubler that goes underneath there. So... And this doubler has not yet been match drilled for rivets to the spar. He'll do that later. And when he match drills this to the spar, he'll make sure that the bolts are in place so that it's perfectly positioned. Again, the spar does come pre-drilled, but only at 3 16 So that's why he's opening it up now, and he'll go ahead and do that right now. as easy as that he'll go ahead and do the rest of them again make sure that any scrap hardware you use gets put um, somewhere safe so it doesn't get confused with the final hardware um, it's kind of hard to do that when the sizes are different however it is uh, in some people's shop if they're not organized they may have standard hardware mixed in with an hardware that's not okay keep your your hardware store hardware away from your aircraft hardware stay well organized and Anytime you do a final installation with hardware, double check everything, okay? Every single fastener has to be double checked, it has to be tight, it has to be the appropriate hardware. Um, if you have any concerns about hardware, you need to, to let us know and we can um, help you get things squared away. It's a matter of safety, so stay organized. Um, and in the next video, we'll go ahead and uh, give you a general overview of how the spars look after he's, he's drilled them all.